Hey everybody, welcome back again to Ken Tamplin Vocal Academy where the proof is in the singing. I am continuing my Dimashathon and next up is Passion or Passion. I uh, just want to dive right in. Uh, it has kind of a big intro so I bipped it up to about 50 seconds and uh, let's do this. Here we go. E non mare ti bugi, poi arriverai, dove il cuore ti porterà, e per te sarà più bello che ci sia. stop there. Um, a couple things. Fabulous. His intonation is off the chain. What I cover with all of my students that are interested in having any kind of agility like this and that kind of intonation is um, we do intervallic scales. You know, right? Um, and I should get a piano out to make sure I'm doing those right. But um, and as you go through these and you get a lot of this intonation, it affords you, affords you the ability to be able to sing this stuff. And without it, you really can't work out in the throat and all the different vowel sounds, the abilities to hit some of these intervallic scales like he's doing. This is more on the coloratura side. Um, he has a tendency to pick off some very difficult pieces. And this is not an easy song to sing, especially to stay in this kind of pitch. So anyway, let's continue. But again, good kind of almost tenor color tourist stuff there's such a thing uh, anyway let's continue here we go quanta vita c'è dentro il gesto che farai non voltarti se la paura chiamerà cosa vuoi ci sia questa storia ti darà Now, if you noticed again, all there's like a lot of key changes, a lot of uh, in the movements. There's a lot of movements in the movement, um, and there are a lot of like I said, these intervallic. <laughs> Like you have to kind of like practice a lot of those scales for a really long time with all of the different vowel sounds and the modifications, the different vowel modifications to go with that. You've got to be able to do those for hours and hours on end, like practicing guitar scales the right way uh, in order to be able to get this kind of intonation with those vowel mods as he's going through this stuff. Pretty fantastic if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see the little smirk on his face as she walked by? He's like, <laughs> he doesn't want to laugh or smile because it's supposed to be kind of like this creepy, dark passion thing. But if you guys take a take a quick look at his face as she's walking by, it's kind of like one of the one of the British guards at the British Palace smiling when they're not supposed to. Check it out; it's pretty funny. I just noticed that.
<laughs> he gets a smirk on his face. She's cute. It's kind of creepy. It's like one of those things nightmares are made of, right? Those are pretty tough to do, guys. You know, you gotta you gotta work those things out, man. I'm telling you, you don't just end up, you know, going like this and hoping for the best and hoping that those notes come out. I'll tell you. He's gonna throw down in a minute. What did you guys notice that he didn't have and stayed spot on? He had no musical reference. It's drums, check it out. But he is able to keep it, hold his pitch through this whole, the whole entire section with no music behind him, check it out. <laughs> So what did he do, like 16 bars, or I forget, maybe 24 bars or something, where the guy's got no musical reference, but he was able to hold pitch with some crazy intervallic scales all the way to the end, and then crush it coming right back in with absolute perfect pitch. That is freaking awesome, I'm telling you. Okay, I know you're gonna be bummed for me interrupting this so many times, but it's also, guys, so difficult. I'm telling you, in a live situation when adrenaline's flowing and, and there's a lot of energy you're trying to get rid of because you're pump, so pumped up, where you can come off of something like that and diminue all the way down into something like this where it's just so sensitive, you know, where you're just so big one minute, you're, you know, you're so forte and then you come back so piano on something. Pretty stinking amazing to do that and then to have the whole band come in and just be so sensitive and so passionate. Wow. Absolutely fabulous. Wow. Yeah, just absolutely fabulous, man. So this guy, whew, gosh, you know, I don't know how you could even beat him. You can't really beat Dimash at Dimash. You have to do something different. <laughs> You know what I mean? Anyway, gang, thank you for joining me. Uh, we're doing a Dimashathon. Come along for the ride, man. Having a good time. Uh, the guy never disappoints, ever. Not even on a note. <laughs> Straight up. So uh, definitely stick around and check out my next video. <laughs> Ooh.